In this lecture, we'll take a look at the notation P capital X equal to lowercase x inside parentheses. Here, P stands for probability, capital X is a random variable, and lowercase x is a real variable. Remember that we can think of a random variable as a variable that randomly takes one value out of a given set of possible values. We can use this representation of a random variable. You can think of the random variable capital X as a box with an LCD display at the bottom. Whenever you look in the box, the LCD will randomly pick a number and that's the number you see. The range of this random variable is the set of possible values that you might see. If you have this simple LCD, then perhaps the set of possible values is the set 0 through 9. So when you look in the box, there is a chance that you will actually see this number 2. That is, there is a certain probability that this will happen. So we need a shorter way of writing the probability that you will see the number 2 when you look inside the box. And the short way of writing such a statement is P capital X equal to 2. This is the probability, so this number P X equal to 2 must lie between 0 and 1. Similarly, P X equal to 1 is the probability that you will see the number 1 when you look inside the box. So in general, we'll use this notation P capital X equal to small x, where small x is any real number that you like to represent the probability that you will see the value small x when you look inside the box. There is no reason for this number to be equal to this number. It might very well be that the probability of seeing the number 2 is larger than the probability of seeing the number 1. This, in turn, means that this probability depends on the value of small x. It's always a number between 0 and 1, but different values of small x will lead to different probabilities. So we can say that this expression P capital X equal to small x is a function of x. You feed a number into this function, such as 2, and the function returns a number, maybe 0 0.5 or whatever the probability is of seeing the number 2. So again, let's say that this random variable x can take values between 0 and 9, such that the number 11 is outside the range. No matter when you look inside the box, you will never see the number 11. Well, in that case, this probability must be equal to 0. No chance of seeing the number 11. This must be true in general. If x is not in the range of x, then we must have p x equal to x to be 0. This probability here can only be greater than 0 if this x here is in the range of x. Here's an example. I have a capital X which is my random variable. Its range is 0, 1 and 2. Look inside this x box, no pun intended, and you will only see the number 0, 1 or 2, nothing else. For each of these three possible values in the range, there is a probability. So if I have px equal to 0 to be 0.5, then looking inside the Xbox, there is a 50% chance that I'll see the number 0. There's a 30% chance that I'll see the number 1, and a 20% chance that I'll see the number 2. These three numbers add up to 100% which they must because I will always see a number when I look inside the box. For any other value of x, 
that is for any value of x not 0, not 1, not 2, then this probability must be 0. The probability that x is 3 is 0, the probability that x is 0 0.5 is 0, and so on. 